Good morning, scholars. Today for math, we are going to work with the number 10. So go ahead and grab your scratch piece of paper and let's get started. So scholars, this past weekend I went camping and I saw 10 bears. So on my screen, you're gonna see those 10 bears. And as I was looking at those 10 bears, I noticed that one looked a little hungry and he actually went away to go look for some food. So in order to represent that in my picture, I need to take away one of my bears. So I'm gonna move one of my bears over here. And this bear right here represents the bear that left to go get some food. Now, looking at my problem, I want to do a number sentence that represents my new picture. And I see that I took a bear away. And I know in my brain that when you take something away, you're doing a subtraction problem. So again, when you take something away, you're doing a subtraction problem. So here, I need to make sure that I represent blank. Here, I need to draw Let's make sure I have my pen. I need to draw the subtraction side because remember that bear left. So I'm taking that bear away, which means I'm doing subtraction. And I know that in subtraction that you always start with your total. So again, in subtraction, you always start with your total. Now in the beginning of my story, I told you that I saw 10 bears. So in this box right here, I'm going to represent my total of 10 bears. So I'm gonna draw or write my number 10. So 10 minus, what number of bears did we take away? So right now I want you to fill in 10 minus, what number did we take away to represent our problem? So take a few seconds to write and fill in that blank number. Now, looking at your problem, if you wrote that you took away one bear or minus one, you're correct because we only took away this one bear. So 10 minus one equals blank. Now, 10 minus one equals blank. I know that I can go ahead and label the remaining bears to make sure I know that I'm getting the correct answer. So let's go ahead and label our bears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I see that I have nine bears left over. So I can go ahead and write my new total. So now I can see that 10 minus one equals nine. So I know that if I have 10 and I take away one, I get the number nine. Again, so 10, take away one, you get nine. Okay. So scholars, I went and got my car wash. And the line was so long, there were 10 of us in line. And because it was so long, nine of the cars, they just drove away. So to represent that, again, if nine cars drove away, am I gonna add nine cars or am I gonna take them away? So am I gonna add or am I gonna take away? If you said take away, you're right. Because the nine cars, they went away, they drove off. So I'm gonna move my nine cars over here. So now I have a new picture that shows a problem. 
Now, remember, I told you in the beginning, we need to decide, are we going to do a addition problem? Or are we going to do a subtraction problem? Now, think back to what I just said. When you take something away, you do what kind of problem? Again, when you take something away, what kind of problem do you do? If you said subtraction, you are 100% right. So I'm going to go ahead and write my subtraction sign right here. Now, again, think back to our last problem. We were doing subtraction, and we started with our total. So in the beginning, I told you there was a total of 10 cars in line. So I need to make sure that the number 10 is my first number. Because again, remember, in subtraction, you always start with your total or your bigger number. So here's my 10 and 10 minus, how many cars did I take away? Go ahead and think really hard and fill in this missing number. How many cars did I take away? If you said nine, you're correct. So 10 minus nine equals, and again, let's go ahead and label our number of cars that are left over, just to make sure we're answering the question correctly. So I'm gonna label one. So 10 minus nine equals one. 10 minus nine equals one. So that I have 10 cars and I take away nine, I'm left with one car. So if I have 10 cars and I take away nine, I'm left with one car. So 10 minus nine gives me one. Now scholars, I have 10 trains and they're all getting ready to leave but there's a backup and only four trains were allowed to leave. So if only four trains were allowed to leave, am I adding four trains or am I taking it away? If four trains left, are you adding or are you taking away? If you guess taking away, you are right. So I'm gonna go ahead and take away One second. Okay. So since we're taking away the trains, we need to represent that in our new picture. So remember, four trains left the station. So one, two, three, four. So now that I have my new picture to represent my problem, let's go ahead and solve a number sentence. So right now I have my three squares and I need to decide if it's addition or subtraction. And I'm thinking it might be addition. Am I correct? No, I'm not. Because remember the four trains, they left the station, they got taken away. So when you take something away or something leaves, you do subtraction again taking away, subtraction. So I'm gonna go ahead, before I even forget, I'm gonna fill in my subtraction sign. And I took away four, so I'm gonna put the number four right here, right? You should all be screaming no to me right now because in subtraction, your number that goes first is always your total or the bigger number. And remember, we started out with 10 trains. So I need to make sure that I actually put 10 here because 10 is our total that we started with. Now, 10 minus, go ahead and fill in what number you think goes there. I think I know it. I think that because the four trains left, that four should go there. Go ahead and think about it. If you put four, are we correct? Yeah, we're correct. We took away four trains. So 10 minus four, now go ahead and label what is left. Let's label one, two, 
three, four, five, six. So six trains were left at the station. So 10 minus four equals six. 10 minus four equals six. So that tells me that if I have 10 and I take away four, I have six left. Again, 10 take away four will give you six. Okay, now scholars, it's time for our exit ticket. So make sure that um, you pause the video on the next screen and complete the exit ticket and then come back to check your work to make sure that you guys are getting the right answer. Our exit ticket is asking you to choose the missing number. Go ahead and pause and figure it out. So scholars, now that you guys have done the work on your own, let's go ahead and check our work. So five plus two equals blank. Now, you guys are all so smart, so I'm sure that you guys counted and figured out that number, but I'm gonna show you what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to start by drawing a picture. That way you make no silly mistakes. So I'm gonna draw a picture, and first I'm gonna start with my first number, five. I'm just gonna draw five, two, three, four, five circles. And then I'm going to add two more. And the reason I added two was because I see the addition sign. So I'm going to add one, two. Now equals blank. I know that I need to label one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five plus two, I got the number seven. So this is the correct answer because five and two more make seven. Go ahead and don't forget to do the flashcards which are linked down below and I will see you all tomorrow for our next virtual lesson. Have a wonderful day.